What is up, you guys? Uh, today we're going to be talking about Palantir. Went over this, um, I believe, on Monday or Tuesday. I believe it was Monday. Um, and we were talking about this resistance here at 1450. Bad boy rejected. We have dropped pretty significantly since making that video. Uh, nearly about 13%. Tapping support. We're going to do a little update. Talk about Palantir if I think we're still going to break out. Short answer is yes. And uh, we're going to go over why and if I'm going to play it. So hit the like button, subscribe, check out our Discord community. I've thrown out two free trades within this community. Both are doing very well right now. Highly recommend you go ahead and check it out. You guys get access to free courses, free live streams, seminars, webinars. Whole kit and caboodle is completely free. No bullshit. Go check it out. We are the best free trading community out there. The link is going to be in my description. Tesla's running. Oh, that's nice. Um, looking at Palantir here, we talked about this inverted head and shoulders. One of my favorite patterns to play. We have a shoulder forming here, head forming here, shoulder forming here with a neckline around 1450. Looking solid. Pretty damn textbook. You know, every inverse head and shoulders or every head and shoulders doesn't have to look the same. It doesn't have to be perfect. But Palantir is looking pretty damn good here. Um, you can see that we did get this rejection on 1450. We did pull back down today to about 1292. If I saw that, I would have entered. But it looks like we're probably going to, at the worst, drop down to 1260, catch a bounce. I think we are still going to bounce and trend back up to 1450, which just from here, up to 1450 is a 10% return. And from there, if we can push through 1450, we still have this super thin area of volume on the volume profile, which means a quick move from here all the way up to 1750 could be pretty damn easy, which is like a 35% return, which could line up with the earnings that we see coming up here on May 10th. So Palantir looking very, 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 very good. Um, and I think I'm actually going to probably take a position on this right now. Uh, but take actually, fuck it. I'm just going to take a position on Palantir. Um, let's go through and I'm going to do it on my phone. PLTR. Um, let's go through and I'll just take some shares. Let's do start pretty small. Um, let's do 400. That's only $5,000. That's not that much. There we go. We're in. Um, I'm just going to take this just for the fact of taking it. I like inverted head and shoulders. that will be a good time uh, to learn together. Let me actually post this to my premium team at everyone. Entry. Palantir. Uh, 500 shares at average of 1314. Cool. All right. So. Besides that, uh, we'll take a look at SoFi as well. This is one thing I wanted to do a standalone video on, but I figured that like while we're here, I'll just go over it now. Um, SoFi still in this big descending trend. I know that we had a lot of hype and a lot of uh, good movement last week, but we are still within this descending trend, so I would be careful. Um, I posted within my Discord. Let me actually go through, type out SoFi. It'll be a little bit easier for you guys to see this here. All right, so on the 4th, so uh, two days ago on Monday, I said here, SoFi is testing resistance again here. If we break out, we can see a run to $12. I'm not counting on it because we are on a downtrend. And at the time, this is how we looked. And we had this resistance point that we were setting up here. I changed my charts, but uh, this resistance point here, we saw that rejection to a T. Um, even though, like, see... This is the thing, right? E even though something is sold off pretty drastically and we are getting a divergence, I don't play against the trend. I, I just really try not to. And so that's why I was like, you know what? I think that we could see a breakout, but I'm not playing against the trend. I'm not a fan here. We saw the rejection. I think we're going to see SoFi drop to eight bucks. Could be a good bargain down there, but overall, uh, I'd be careful. Hope this video helped, guys. Pretty quick, pretty slow day, man. Like yesterday and today have been really slow, but... Enjoy your time. Kick your feet up. Uh, get ready for summer. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Peace, boys.